Essie Nakajigo was a champion for women in Uganda and had just moved to Colorado as a newlywed. Well, just over one year ago, she was on vacation with her husband at Arches National Park when she was tragically killed. And now he is fi filing a multi-million dollar lawsuit against the park. And he spoke with our Lance Hernandez. Like the gate like, stopped behind my headrest. Um, I can't imagine if we had a couple of passengers or something. Ludovic Michaud still experiencing flashbacks to that horrific day when he and his beloved wife, Esther Nakajigo, were leaving Arches National Park. A gust of wind blew this unsecured gate into the passenger window, killing Esther. Ludo himself escaped death by mere fractions of inches. It was where the spear went through. Uh, he just escaped like by that much. I believe she was my soulmate. The software engineer says the last 12 months have been a struggle with bouts of PTSD. I decided I would fight for uh, myself and for uh, AC's family, try to, you know, get better, try to keep working, and also to support our family. He wants people to know what Esther means. Esther means star. At age 17, the Ugandan resident was given property to sell for her own tuition, but instead used it to open a hospital for women and girls who had been raped and neglected. I want to be a star to be able to light in the lives of the people who feel it's dark, you know? Attorney Deborah Chang says Esther accomplished more in her short life than many do in a lifetime. Her loss keenly felt in Uganda, where she was named Ambassador of Hope for Women and Girls, and where she started a reality TV show to help that population. Many uh, projects that were underway for women and children were stalled, and uh, we lost this bright light. And so we brought this lawsuit. The suit alleges wrongful death, negligence, and property damage. Mashad says he knows the suit won't bring his beloved wife back, but he says it will help him and her parents move on. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.